Praise the name of the Lord, Shalom family. Once again, you're welcome. Welcome to this amazing, great, awesome word and awesome session. Of course, it's your friend and your sister, Dr. Irene, and I bring you a timely word from the Lord. I appreciate all those that you carry to this particular word. You always, you always, comp uh, you always stand by whenever we do new video uploads, returning viewers and returning subscribers. God bless you amazingly in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know why I'm a bit, you know, nervous when I give in this particular prophetic word. <laughs> you know, Holy Spirit, take over. It's your doing and it's marvelous in our sight. Take over this session. As many as are gathering, may they be blessed by your word in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let's all consider to like the word. Subscribe if you are not subscribed to this ministry. And the Lord bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus. The counterfeit was so stupid. The counterfeit was so, so stupid. They thought you were going to fall for their cheap, you know, for their cheap excuses. They thought you were going to fall for their cheap games. They wanted to play you. They really wanted to play you. Now I see this person. If this word is for you, please kindly take it very serious. I see this person, your kingdom spouse is so close to you. And God says, don't allow familiarity to cause you to lose your blessings. Don't allow familiarity to make you lose the one he has sent for you. You might have begun with this person on a casual base. But the Lord wants this relationship to turn into something else. Oh yes. There are some friends that God did not just send them into your life as friends. The Lord sent them for them to move from that friendship into marriage. You know, the best form of marriage is when you get married to your best friend. Someone you, you, you can freely chat with, talk with, everything. And yet you can still respect that person and you can still move for that person. And I see you, this person has been so close to you and they have been of so much help to you. They have been so much, you know, into you and you've been so much into them. But I see you, your thoughts are so clouded. I don't know why people always think like when it's time for them to get settled maritally, they have to pray, let God open their eyes to look at somebody that is so far off from them, far off from their imagination. Somebody's going to come from a very far place to come. And the Lord says, please, this is going to drag you away from his plan and his will for you. Your kingdom spouse is so close to you. It's someone you're relating with. It's someone you know. You know everything about them. Don't allow familiarity to take that woman away from you. Don't allow familiarity to take that man away from you. You might even be saying, ah, she's just like a sister to me or he's just like a, a brother to me. But the Lord sees beyond that. He sees an eternal purpose that is about to be fulfilled. Don't allow, don't fall for the cheap, you know, the cheap reason the counterfeit will give you. Don't. The counterfeit will pull your attention to other things, to other people, and then when you fall for it, they are going to go in and take that which they are going to go in and snatch that which rightfully belongs to you. I see a lot of hands are ready to drag what belongs to you. Don't stay too long to take the right steps. Please let your intentions be made known from the beginning. Let it be clear so that at the end of the day, you will not lose your precious jewel that the Lord has laid into your hands. I know if it, this word is for you, it will resonate with your spirit. And the Lord says, take, take the right steps and take them immediately. Don't allow the counterfeit to play you games and to take what belongs to you. I see someone coming right behind you to take it away from you, to snatch it away from you. God says, be wise like a serpent, harmless like a dove. That friendship that you just keep seeing and thinking is a friendship is beyond a friendship. It's something that is linked with God's eternal purposes. So search inside your heart and ask yourself, what do you feel for this person? And ask yourself, what's God, God's will for you? 
with regards to this person. And if it is the will of God, take the right step. I pray this one will lead and guide you to make the right choices. You will not regret. You will not regret because you will not lose the one the Lord has sent into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Ma'am, now may the Lord bless you. May he lead you into his perfect will for your life. May he open your eyes and may he open the eyes of your ordain. May they stop looking far. May they come close to that which God has put in you. May they understand you and may they settle down with you. In Jesus' glorious name we pray. Amen. I love you so much and shalom. God bless you.